What up, everybody? This is Beast is Clutchin', a.k.a. Lunatic Tick Boom, a.k.a. Drake Savage, and I'm bringing you the first Pokemon Showdown video to go up on Forever Classic. Hopefully, there will be many more to come. But, let's not waste any time, let's get right into the action here. Alright, the first Pokemon this guy sends out is a Cloyster, and I set up my Mamoswine first. Now, my Mamoswine is choice banned, so I go straight for the superpower, expecting, hopefully, you know, to knock this guy out. But he survives with 2% HP. And he's going to nail me with a Rock Blast, and it's going to do all kinds of damage. I'm really lucky, actually, that he didn't get a crit here, or else my Mamoswine would have just been dead. <clears throat> I go ahead and switch out Mamoswine, send in my Politoed to get my rain up. Because this Cloyster apparently doesn't have any water moves. I don't know what this guy's set is, really, but it's really weird. I absorb that Rock Blast. It does do a lot of damage, and I didn't really expect it to do that much. This Cloyster is pretty powerful with its attack. But I go ahead and protect, get a little bit more health back just in case he decides to put up any hazards with his team. Which, now that I think about it, I don't know why I did that because there's not really anything that can put hazards up besides this cloister that might have like spikes or something. So I go ahead and switch out Politoed now for Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn can eat up these Rock Blasts all day, and he just keeps on using them. Rock Blasts for days. <clears throat> I kind of was fearing the Icicle Spear because I knew it would. It wouldn't do a whole lot of damage, but it would definitely probably be a two-hit KO if he hit me with two Icicle Spears. So I was going to get my rocks up because those are really important to my team. I rely on people trying to switch out a lot because I switch a lot. I try to get people to um, out-predict me, and I'll try to predict them and stuff, you know. That's just kind of the way I play. He goes for a Spike Cannon, which really confused me because Rock Blast would have done more damage. I don't know if he expected me to switch for some reason. I'm not really sure, but I put up my rocks pretty pretty easily. He Icicle Spears now. And why he was not using this the first instance he saw my Ferrothorn is beyond me. I went ahead and got up a layer of spikes too, which really helps out. And I just let him sack my Ferrothorn because I don't really need him anymore. Uh, he's got that stupid freaking Infernape, which just massacres my Ferrothorn. And the Conquador would just easily kill him with a Mach Punch. So at that point, he was useless to me. I wanted to free switch into Salamence. Because Salamence can easily pick up this Moxie Boost right here. If I were him, I would have switched out to something like Conquador that could have just ate up any physical attack that I did. But he didn't. He just gave me a free Moxie Boost. And he sends out Sigilyph, which is really strange to me. I kind of thought he might go for anything else, really. But he sets up a Cosmic Power as I go for my Dragon Dance. And I'm not going to let him do that anymore because I've had some problems in, like, random battles with the Sigilyph. Setting up all this crap and just wailing on your team because you can't hurt it. So I go straight for a Dragon Claw after the first Dragon Dance. And with that Moxie boost, I do a lot of damage. And he goes up for another Cosmic Power, but with the damage I did last time, there's no way he's going to survive this hit. So that is another free Moxie boost for my Salamence. So far, that's two Pokemon. My Salamence just ate up for breakfast. And this is my first battle that I had with this team after making it. Like, directly after making it. I so thought this lab part was going to be a problem because he could prankster swagger me. But he goes for a psych up. And I... I really don't know if maybe he was trying to go for the clever play thinking I would Dragon Dance again. And then he could psych up and then swagger and then just foul play me to death. But... Yeah, I don't know what this guy was thinking. And he sometimes Kyron Black is basically fodder because... I don't really know why. His, his Congador still might have been able to uh, survive a Dragon Claw because it's so bulky. But he just forfeits after I take out that Chiron Black. And it's kind of similar to the first one. Just because, I don't know, this guy's team kind of worries me. He's got the Heatran, which is a serious counter to my Ferrothorn. And at, I don't really want to leave with him first. I just go ahead and start off the game with my Politoed, as you'll see right now. He, though, sends out his Ferrothorn first. I do get my rain up because of the Polito, which is a good thing. Because now his Heatran is pretty much in trouble, unless he switches to his Tyranitar. Which I kind of expected him to do eventually. But I go ahead and switch to my Ferrothorn because there's really nothing his Ferrothorn can do to mine. So he fails a Leech Seed right there. I go ahead and set up Rocks. Then he goes ahead and set up Spikes. We're getting our hazards up pretty early on in this game. I go ahead and set up my own Spikes. And then he goes, he goes ahead and sets up some more spikes of his own. And I'm just sitting here thinking, is this really what we're going to do? We're just going to put up our layers? Is this what's really happening? And I guess he doesn't carry Stealth Rock on this Pokemon because he just sets up three spikes. 
and I figured right here he would dip out into something, so I go ahead and go for the predicted T wave. So there's really nothing we can do to each other. And out comes Heatran, and boom. He's gonna get paralyzed. It's just, I don't know, predictions, man. It's not that hard to do. Now this thing's paralyzed, I go ahead, switch to my Suicune, because Suicune can take anything from this guy, especially in the rain. I have really high special defense. I'm pretty sure I have max special defense, max HP Suicune. And I think he just goes right for a, uh, I don't know what he goes for. He gets full paralyzed, that's why. <clears throat> I don't think it really would have mattered, because I could just eat up all his attacks. I go ahead, go for the Calm Mind, but he switches. I didn't really expect that. I thought he might just leave that Heatran in there for fodder, but he goes ahead and switches his Ferrothorn. I go ahead and get my boosted special attack, special defense. Uh, I go ahead and risk a Scald right here because I really need Ambition for a burn because that's kind of what I like to do with my Ferrothorn, or my uh, Suicune and my Politoed, and the burn I get, so I was happy with that by a lot. He sets up a Leech Seed, which was kind of strange because I thought he might have Power Whip, and I w if I were him, I just would have Power Whip this thing because, mm, I don't know, questionable plays on his part. I go ahead and switch right back out to my Ferrothorn because I can just take anything this guy has to offer. And he's burned, so he's going to be slowly dying. And he goes ahead and power whoops and misses. And that right there was the game. He said, GG, no re, and just bounced. <laughs> he was tired of my team, I guess, just from the few seconds we played. And he was actually a higher rating than me, which I found kind of embarrassing for him. Because, I don't know, to rage quit when no Pokemon has died on either team, it's a little bit preemptive. Lost a lot of respect for me there, little Prez. Or sorry, ill Prez. These teams right here were a little bit worrisome to me because <clears throat> he's got a very similar team to mine. The only real difference is the Celebi and the Mimuswine because the Vaporeon and the Suicune are really similar Pokemon. And I was kind of worried because his Celebi is probably going to be very bulky, very annoying, probably carrying some weird movesets. So I just went ahead and let off with my Ferrothorn. He actually leads off with Latios, which, because I lead off with Ferrothorn, doesn't really bother me, uh, bother me at all. He goes ahead and switches to his Ferrothorn, because there's really nothing we can do to each other. And it's just going to be, you know, some shenanigans at this point, because I Thunder Wave, expecting if he stays in, that's the Thunder Wave to Latios right there. And if he, you know, <laughs> switches to anything else, nothing is going to enjoy being Thunder Waved. We both set up our rocks the next turn, which is, I don't know, it's good for me, but uh, I didn't expect the switch to Selby right here. I went ahead and set up some spikes, and I was a little bit upset because I thought he's going to have HP fire. So I go for a switch right away. I switch to Suicune, expecting this HP fire to come out, and he actually heal bills because apparently in this guy's mind, his Ferrothorn's got to be fast. It can't afford to be paralyzed. It's got to do a lot of crazy stuff. I guess he was fearing the Ice Beam right here. So he goes out and switches back to his Ferrothorn. I go ahead and calm mine because I know I can live a Giga Drain or two, maybe even more from that uh, Celebi after it revealed itself to be more of a healing one. <clears throat> and I go ahead and go for a Scald, praying for that 30% burn because, I don't know, Scalds get burns a lot. And I go ahead and get one, which is going to be really helpful because this Ferrothorn. <sighs> Ferrothorns are aggravating, especially ones that have Bleach Seed. So he's healed back up pretty nicely. We're both hurt just a little bit. I go ahead and switch out because I don't want this Leech Seed to do anything to my Suicune. I switch right into Ferrothorn again. <laughs> he goes ahead and switches right into Celebi because apparently this is what we're going to do is just be switching the entire game. Now, he's taking more damage right now because I have my spike set up along with my rocks. Uh, I go ahead, <clears throat> set up another layer of spikes because I'm not fearing the HP fire anymore. He already revealed to me that he probably doesn't have it. He goes ahead and psychics and does a little bit of damage to me. I get another layer of spikes up. I go ahead, put another layer of spikes up because at this point, I don't care what the Celebi is doing. I want to have all my hazards on the field ready to do as much damage as Pokemon as possible. I know that the main threats, uh, um, his Thunderous and his Latios, aren't going to get hurt by the spikes. But for the really annoying things, like the Vaporeon and the Politoed and the um, Ferrothorn that are just going to sit there 
and absorb my hits. I want them to take as much damage as possible. He just continues to psychic me. I get off a Thunder Wave on him because I want him to be slowed down. He knows I'm going to switch Pokemon right here because I'm going to pick the Thunder Wave. It's pretty obvious. I knew he knew. I didn't really care. I ran in and switched to my Politoed. He goes ahead and goes for the Psychic again. Because why not? I don't even know if this guy... <laughs> I don't know if he carries a grass move, to be completely honest with you. Oh, he was fearing the ice beam, which he should have been. I didn't really try to overproject or anything, because this guy was kind of confusing me just by staying in with that Celebi. So this uh, Vaporeon took an ice beam. Didn't do a lot. Vaporeon did take a lot of damage there from the entry hazard, which is what I wanted. I go ahead and switch out. Right back into Ferrothorn, because... This Ferrothorn pretty much walls everything on his team. Like, the only thing I'm really scared of is the Thunderous maybe knowing, like, some type of uh, Focus Blast or something. Which is not even too big of a threat since Focus Blast misses more often than it hits. I go ahead and get burned here, which kind of makes me, like, just give up on Ferrothorn. I go ahead and get a T-Wave off, uh, off on Vaporeon to slow it down. And I think I just let Ferrothorn die here. Because I didn't really care anymore about that. Although I didn't expect him to have the uh, hydration. I, I kind of thought he would have the other ability, but whatever. <laughs> Can't know everything about his Pokemon at this point. I go ahead and switch to Thunderous Therion to go off with the Thunder because the Vaporeon's really bulky, and nothing else I do with my moveset would actually kill him. And I didn't want to risk him hitting me with like a Scald or something. So I just go ahead for the safe thunder. I don't really care. It's going to hurt something on his team a, a, a good chunk. And I, I get the lucky paralyze on Celebi right here. <coughs> Which is, it's useful. But not too useful because Celebi can just switch out and get rid of it. He stayed in. Which uh, I kind of expected him to do. So I just went for the thunder. But I, I don't think he expected me to stay in. He went for the hill bill right away. And I'm just, uh, <laughs> I just got some more damage off of him before I switched out because I want this thing to be a low health because it is naturally bulky. And he put a lot of stuff into HP, I'm sure. And he has Recover, which is very annoying and stally. But my Salamence also knows Roost. And <laughs> he switches it out right here, which I didn't like. I did not appreciate one bit. Switches out the Ferrothorn. I go ahead, I think I Dragon Dance once. Yeah, I do. I just kind of expect him to switch. I want to keep a cell be alive. I think here that an earthquake could kill it, but because it leftovers healing it, I'm pretty sure it can't. I go ahead and go for it anyway to do some damage. And it actually does less than I expected. And he sets up a leech seed here, which is just terrible. It's going to really bother me because now the earthquake won't kill it a second hit. So I think I go ahead and switch out. Yeah, I do. I go ahead and switch out. Send back in my Mammoth Swine, which I don't think he really expected. He goes for a Protect. So he shows that he's the Leech Seed Protect Ferrothorn, which is very annoying moveset. Let's just put it that way. I gotta go for the Superpower because I'm tired of his Ferrothorn being here. I'm tired of it stalling out my guys. I just want it to be gone. I don't care if I take Iron Bars damage. I don't care if I get Attack and Defense drops. I just want the thing out of my life. He sends out a Celebi. It takes... A pretty good bit of damage from the entries. I go and switch out because I can't do anything with Choice Bandage, Superpower, Mammoth Swine against the Celebi. Go back to Suicune. And I, I'm i not sure if he thinks my Suicune has Ice Beam or not. But he goes ahead and recovers, so that's bad for me because the Celebi is at full health now. And I still haven't seen a Grass move from him yet. But there, he finally shows the Giga Drain. And it does nothing to my specially defensive Suicune. I go ahead and get a Calm on under my belt. Which means his, his Giga Drain is not going to be doing anything. I think I even go for another Calm Mind here. I'm not really sure what he does. I guess he switches out and goes right into Vaporeon. Mm, yeah, I do go for the second Calm Mind. And now that I know he has Hydration and not anything like Water Absorb, I can just Scald this thing and do all kinds of damage to it. I'm pretty sure that's what I do. Yeah. It doesn't do as much as I'd like it to, actually. He survived. Like, I thought he would actually... I don't know. They pour on throw me off. They they can be really weird. Like, they can have really weird uh, sets. Like, they can be special defensive. They can be defensive. They can be special attacking. 
I I was lucky right there because I did a, like one or two percent more than I did the first turn, and managed to get a kill on that eight four on for me, which was good because that's another wall out of the way. This toxic, I'm not too bothered by it. I'm actually I actually don't care at all because this thing is only special attacking. It's me that thunder, twenty three percent. That's nothing. But guess what? I can go sleep. I can go to sleep with rest. I think that he was confused because I was a lefties resting so he can so he goes for another thunder. But I also have sleep talk, which is terrible in competitive use because you can get rest. Like, I don't know. I hit rest a lot. Like right there, there's a rest. Thank you, sleep talk, for being so helpful. This lot of is just going to stay here and keep thundering me, I think. No, he actually switches, which was kind of silly in this part. I guess he just didn't want me hitting a... <laughs> Hitting anything like a scald or anything. He was right into Thunder Hysterion to do some stab damage to me. I get another sleep talk rest. I my luck right now is just terrible with this thing. I think I go for another rest right here. He goes for the nasty plot. Is that what I do? Do I go for rest? I do. I expected him just thunder right away. And as soon as I did it, I remember that I tried to cancel it, but the it already had went in. I was already done. And <laughs> I go for another sleep talk, and lo and behold, what do I get? Rest. Screw you, Pokemon Showdown. This was the trolliest game for me in the world. It's It serves me right, really, for using a rest sleep talk Suicune. I can't really complain. It's part of the game. But this guy is a life orb freaking th thunder using uh, nasty plotting thunder Therian, which is a little bit frustrating. I think he switches out right here because he fears the Ice Shard, which he should. He should be terrified of it. I think he actually goes into Politoed. I'm not sure what I do. I might have predicted it. Uh, no, I just went right, uh, went right for the Ice Shard. Because everything else but this Politoed had been severely hurt by Ice Shard. So, I really had nothing to lose. The Politoed's getting just destroyed by all my entries. The fact that he has one Stealth Rock and I have a Stealth Rock plus three spikes really does a lot. I send my Politoed to kind of stall him out. He hits me with an Ice Beam, which it real reveals that uh, that thing's going to be a serious threat if I put my Salamence in there, and he's not balked up like on Dragon Dances and Moxies. So I think, yeah, I just go ahead and Toxic. I want to stall this Politoed out. And I think he used for a Toxic here and misses. Yeah, that was so unlucky for him. If he had hit that Toxic, this would have been a really, really different ending probably to this game. But you know what? I don't even talk about it. I got three Sleep Talk rests in a row. Like... No, he deserved to miss that Toxic. So I'm kind of stalling him out right here by protecting and stuff. I think I go for... I think I just go for a Scald because I don't want anything else to get Toxic on my team. And I can, I'm can i not really worried about Politoed doing anything helpful at this point because he's not going to really be effective against uh, anything except for maybe um, hitting, <coughs> hitting the Latios or the Selby with a non-stab Ice Beam, which... I'd rather hit them with like a Dragon Claw from Dragon Dance or something than a uh, than a non-stab Ice Beam. Um, I actually didn't predict him to switch here. I was kind of super surprised by that because his Pogtoot only has 27% uh, HP. So if it comes back in, it's just going to die to hazards. I don't know what he was thinking right there. He should have just stayed in and drained some more health from my Pogtoot. Because I got a burn right there on Celebi, and that's pretty much GG for Celebi too because he's going to recover here, I assume. I don't really remember what happened. Uh, no, he heal bells. If he had recovered right there, this guy made some weird plays. I think I go for an ice shard. Yeah, I do. Just kill that Celebi because he can't do anything anymore. Like ice shard's gonna kill everything on his team because the Politoed's is gonna die on entry. Uh, this Latios is gonna get eaten up by this choice banded ice shard. Uh, this took a lot of turns too. Like I didn't realize it until right now, but this is like turn forty-two. Like this was a really long game, and it was really annoying because this guy just did just very stally stuff. He actually played a little bit like me, and he just forfeits. Yeah, he didn't even switch to his thunders or yeah, his thunders. But I don't know. I guess he knew that it was over. He couldn't let me have the win. He said a forfeit. He was also higher ranked than me. But yep. That was the last game we're going to put in this video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed, and leave a like if you liked it. Leave a favorite if you really, really liked it. And remember to share it with your friends, Facebook and Twitter.
This has been Beast's Collection on the Forever Classic Channel, and I hope to see you all next time.